Hi, welcome to Humble Hus. We are going to be making this pretty headband today. Uh, the stitch is called a Connected Spiral, and the flower is a Sunfire flower. Now, obviously, we'll be making the headband first, and then we'll get to the flower. This is the yarn that we'll be using, and here are the instructions. You can use a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. I will be using a different one, which is a 2.75. So this is a recommendation. You can use whatever you like. That's what I always say. I hope it won't be too hard to see. Because this yarn is so thin, um, obviously you have to take that into consideration. If you switch out the yarn for a thicker one, then you won't have to, to use as much. So let's start off with a slip knot. And of course, this color is different from the one that I that you saw in the picture, which is the black one with the white flower, but it's the same yarn. All right, so there we go. Make a chain. You always have to, to count in multiples of threes. Let's do 15 chains. 14 and 15. To those 15, you are going to have to chain five more. So you only count to the 15 and then so start counting again. So one, two, three, four, and five. So it's always a good idea to keep your finger where you left off because that is where your first stitch is going to go. Okay, so you're going to do a double crochet into that six stitch basically. So, or if you want to see it the other way around, this is chain number 15. So where you end it before you did the other five chains. So that's where you want to do the double crochet into. Yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now you are going to do a chain of three. So one, two, and three. We are going to do three double crochets into this space, but we are not going to finish them off completely. So you start off, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So there's two loops on your hook. Now again, the second one, yarn over, insert your hook, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So there you have three loops on your hook. And then the next one, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. There you have four loops on your hook. Now you want to skip to this basically from from where you have this last one that you went into. Skip two and then on that third one that's where you do the next double crochet. So yarn, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. That gives you five loops on your hook and now you will yarn over and pull through all five loops like so. Now chain three and we are going to repeat that same process into this space again. So three double crochets into this space. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, 
pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, but don't finish it off. And now yarn over, and this is where you want to skip two. Okay, so one, two, and then on that third one, you insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. That leaves you with five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all five loops. That's what it's going to start to look like, this connected spiral. So these are basically two clusters that you've made. Chain three again. And we will go into this space. Sorry if my nails look a little yellow, but it's from peeling mandarins. So yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through, don't finish it off. So do two more, yarn over. Again, leaving you with four loops on your hook. Okay, from that last stitch, skip two. So one, two, and then on this third one. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, there's your five loops, there are your five loops, yarn over, pull through all five. There's your third cluster. Okay, now again, chain three, and we'll repeat that same process three unfinished double crochets, one, two, and three, skip two, so one, two, and then into that third, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, Pull through, there are your five loops, yarn over, pull through all five. At the end you should have two chains, one, two. So now you have four clusters, let's chain three again, and let's do those three unfinished double crochets into that space, yarn over. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. See, I finished that one off. I did. That's not what I meant. <laughs> so there you go. So do not finish them off like I just did. Four loops. And now that last double crochet, you're going to put it in that very first chain that you made. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through. There are your five loops, yarn over, pull through all five loops. All right, so there you have five clusters. One, two, three, four, five. Turn your work. Chain three. So you want to do a double crochet into that first space. So yarn over, insert your hook into that space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops, yarn over, pull through. Finish that one off, and then chain three again. 
Now this is going to be our new space for those double crochets, okay, for those clusters. Don't get confused with that, with this space. Okay, it's always this one. Let's do those three unfinished double crochets. The yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Okay, so don't finish it off. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, the three loops, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, there are your four loops. All right, and now that we have these spaces, that is where we are going to go into with the next, with that fifth double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into that space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and there's your five loops. Yarn over, pull through all five. There you have your first cluster of the second row. Once you have this cluster, you need to chain three again. One, two, and three. And now you will do the cluster into this space. Do not get confused with the bottom spaces. It's this one right here. Do three unfinished double crochets. So one, two, and three. There's your four loops. Now that, that last double crochet goes into this next space. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through all five loops. There's your second cluster. Let's chain three again. All right, you guessed it. This is the space you'll be going into. Not this one. four loops and then that last one into this next space. There's your five loops and pull through all five. Let's chain three again and we're going into this space to do the cluster. Okay so we have three clusters so far. There you have the four loops. And now this last one is always a little bit harder to see or to find. Okay, there it is. That's where, you, where you're going to do the last double crochet into, to that space. Right, like so, there's your five loops. Pull through all five. And now it's, it's easy to think that you're done, but no, you have to have the same amount of clusters as you have at the bottom. Here you only have four. One more to go. Chain three. And do the three double crochets, the three unfinished double crochets into this space. There are your four loops. Okay, this is where it gets tricky because obviously you don't have any of those empty spaces. So you have to go, because you want to go to the top of that chain, 
and that's where you're going to put your last double crochet into. Alright, so yarn over, skip this space, and go into that top chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through all five loops. There you go. There are your five clusters. Now let's turn around. Let's chain three. One. And now, again, you need to find those spaces. If you don't find the space from the previous row, that means you forgot to chain three and you have to go back and redo those. It can happen. It's happened to me. After the three chains, you are going to do a double crochet first into this space. So a complete double crochet. Now chain three again. It's always that beginning stitch from the next on the next row where you have to basically chain three twice. And then we go into this space with three unfinished double crochets. Let's do one, two, and three. That are your four loops. Yarn over into that next empty space. Do the double crochet so that you, well, unfinished double crochet so that you have five loops and then pull through all five. Chain three and again do that cluster into this space. And that next, that fifth one into this space. Five loops, pull through, chain three. Okay, four loops. Remember this last one, it's hard to find. There it is. Go into that space. Do that last unfinished double crochet and then pull through all five and again chain three. Like I said, always make sure that you have the same amount of clusters and work into this space. There are your four loops. Okay, and remember that last one. So you're looking at it like this and you want to go into that last stitch from the previous row from that chain of three. There you go and then turn. That's what it's starting to look like. Now keep going if you, if you need to look up how to begin or end a row just go back in the video and you want to measure depending on your baby's age anywhere you know if it's zero to three months probably 13 inches my baby is five and a half months and for her I needed 15 inches it just depends it's best if you have the baby to measure the head but if you don't you know always go a little bit bigger than smaller I would suggest I will meet you back when you are done with these so that we can join the two ends. Once you reach the desired length that you want, I mean obviously this is just a little sample piece, but once you have the length that you need for the baby's head or the child's head, then you are going to join the two ends. You can turn it either way, whichever way you want to join these. Doesn't matter which one is the front or the back. And all you're going to do is a slip stitch. You have to try and align as best as you can and go through, pull the yarn through and through that other loop. See, it's so soft that it just slips off the hook. So that's your first slip stitch. And then try to go into the next one and so on until you've closed the whole side. So keep going with that. 
Okay, and then just cut off the yarn when you're done and thread it in. Now the next step is to do the sunfire flowers. If you remember, this is what they're gonna look like. I am going to use this yarn again, this color, for demonstration purposes, even though I used the cream colored one on the headband. Start with a slip knot. Now chain five. And then go back to that first one, that first chain that you started. Insert your hook, pull through, and pull through that other loop as well. So you have a little circle, which is very hard to see. There's the, the center. Okay, there you see it, right? That middle. Chain six. There's the chain of six. Now into the middle of the circle, that's the middle of the circle, we are going to do a double crochet into that circle. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull, th uh, you see, like I said, it's just so soft that it slips through. So yarn over, pull through the last two. Chain three. And another double crochet into that circle. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Again, chain three, another double crochet into that circle. Again, chain three, another double crochet into that circle. Chain three again, another double crochet into the circle. Chain three. Another double crochet into the circle. So, so far you have one, two, three, four, five, six, six spaces. So we want to keep going. We need eight spaces. That gives us seven and one, two, and three. And now we are going to do a slip stitch into the third chain. So one, two, three, that's the third chain where, where we started. So remember there was six chains at the beginning, so these are the first three and then the other three for the side. So insert your hook, make a slip stitch, and now chain three again. Now we're going to go into these spaces. Aside from this one, you'll do four double crochets into this space. Now you've done the first chain of three, then the four double crochets, and after that, you are going to do that fifth double crochet into this stitch. Okay, so yarn over, insert your hook, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that's how we're going to go around. Four double crochets into each space, and then that fifth one into that row that you have in between each empty space. I will meet you here towards the end. I want to try and give you a better look of exactly where I go into on that fifth double crochet. Do you see that little hole right there? Usually when you get to the next space, you will be able to see that. There's that little opening right there. Now we've come to this part where we have to join the two sides. And what you want to do is, remember that first chain of three that we had at the beginning? Let me see if I can separate it. So right there, you want to go into that top stitch and then do a slip stitch like so okay so you have that whole flower 
and now you want to chain six again on your second chain you are going to do a single crochet insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through both loops you're going to do a half double crochet so the way that goes is you yarn over first you insert your hook into that next stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and you're going to pull through all three loops like so Right, that was a half double crochet. Then on that next stitch, so right there, we are going to do a double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two now on this next one we are going to do a treble or triple crochet the way you do is you yarn over twice so two times insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops then on this last one we are going to do a double treble the way you do the double treble so here's the thing some people call the treble the triple crochet and some people call the double treble the triple crochet so it gets confusing but basically with the treble you put the yarn over twice over your hook and then with the double treble you do it three times like so then insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops 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 there you go all right now you're going to skip four stitches one two three four and on this fifth one which is basically where the row is from the previous well that little tower that is where you're going to insert your hook and do a single crochet now chain six again and then into that second stitch you're going to do a single crochet then in the next one you're going to do a half double crochet which is yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three then the next one is a double crochet so yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the next one is a treble so yarn over twice insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and then the last one is the double treble so three times over your hook one two three insert your hook into that last stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over 
pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Skip four again. And on that fifth one where the tower is, you will do a single crochet again. Keep going all the way around, doing repeating these petals. I will meet you over here. Here's your almost finished flower. This was the last petal. Now you have to close it off. The way you do that is just with a slip stitch. So you go right here into the beginning of that first one. And all you do is a slip stitch. Cut up your yarn. I like to kind of make a knot right here, but you can just pull it through like that. There you go. There you have your first sunfire flower. Now obviously you want to thread in these loose ends. Yeah, maybe cut them a little bit shorter and then with a needle thread them through. And now I'm going to show you how to do the smaller one. Again, you start with a slip knot. Uh, I do recommend with the smaller one, leave a longer tail because you can use this tail to then uh, attach it to the headband. And do the slip knot. Start by doing five chains again. Connect them with a slip stitch. So the first one with the last one. And now chain four. Gonna go back into the circle and do a single crochet. There you go. Now chain three. One, two, three. Go back into the circle and do a single crochet. We want five spaces. So what you do is now you connect this last one with that very first one that we made. Remember we did four. So you gotta go all the way at the bottom, that first chain. That's where you wanna insert your hook and do a slip stitch. Now chain three and we are going to go into these spaces just like before and do the exact same thing as with the large flower. Four double crochets into this space. Yarn over, insert your hook into the space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And now you want to go again into that fifth one, so basically where the little tower is. That's where you want to go in with that fifth double crochet. You're basically repeating now the same thing as with the large flower, except this time you're only going to have five petals instead of eight. And obviously the beginning was a lot smaller. Keep doing those four double crochets into the next three spaces and I will meet you back here. There we are at the end of this row. Join this part to so the beginning with this end. You insert your hook. So remember that first chain that we made of three. Insert your hook into that top stitch and do a slip stitch. Now chain six and we're basically starting with the petals again. So do a single crochet into that second stitch and then a half double crochet into the next one. Now a double crochet into the next one. A treble into that next one. And a double treble into that last one. Now remember to skip four stitches from the bottom rows and on this fifth one you do a single crochet and repeat the same process okay until you have those five petals i will meet you at the end but basically you do the same as with the large flower you do a slip stitch at the end pull it through and cut off the yarn 
well, cut off the yarn and then pull it through. If you don't remember how to do these, just rewind the video and check how we did the, the petals of the large flower. It's exactly the same. But the sequence is, just so you remember, it's a single crochet, a half double crochet, a double crochet, a treble, and a double treble. Skip four, do a single crochet. And then again, chain six and start the petal. When you're done, just obviously all these threads are going to be gone. And then you're going to thread those into the flower and just leave the long one so that you can sew the flower, the flowers onto the headband. Okay, just go back and forth until they're both securely attached, like so. And they will go in, you know, that's just normal, but it gives it a unique look. And there you have it. You've made a headband. I hope you had a lot of fun. I sure did. That's it. I will see you next time. Bye.